massive void with over a million cubic megaparsecs volume. Devoid of bright galaxies has been found by a team of astronomers surveying the redshifts of bright galaxies out to 800 megaparsecs. They found it captivating because it surprisingly defies all logic. Want to know more? Stay tuned. Let's tell you how it all started. In 1981, Robert Kirshner, among other astronomers at the University of Michigan, was calculating the redshifts of many galaxies. They wanted to know how the universe's expansion causes the speed with which distant galaxies travel to increase with distance. They confirmed that they could only use redshift to measure cosmic expansion. Robert and his group were determined to create a 3D cosmos map, and some unusual details began to materialize as the map took shape. The area, formerly known as the Great Nothing, existed at a distance of 700 million light years from Earth. There weren't many galaxies in a roughly spherical area with a diameter of 330 million light years, which is large enough to hold billions of Milky Ways. This area is often referred to as the Boethys Void because it seems to be located inside the constellation of Bautis, the herdsman who drives the plow around the North Pole. It was revealed to have just 60 galaxies in 1997, although it should have around 2,000. Astrophysicist Greg Aldering says that if the Milky Way was in the heart of the Bout's void, humans would not have discovered the presence of other galaxies until 1960. The occurrence of the Bout's void is compatible with the Lambda CDM model of cosmic growth, and no fundamental conflicts seem to exist between the two. The Bout's void is thought to have formed by merging smaller voids, similar to how soap bubbles combine to form more giant bubbles. This would explain why just a few galaxies are confined in a small tube at the center of the emptiness. Other astronomers soon discovered indications of galaxies in the void, which explained why there were just a handful of galaxies in a roughly tube-shaped area at the center of the void. On top of that, it was thought that these holes appeared during the birth of the cosmos. At the beginning of time, everything in the cosmos was very close together. Some argue that initially it had a uniform distribution of matter, but that random quantum fluctuations quickly caused slight variations. When certain regions increased in density, they began to attract value from less dense areas because of their stronger gravitational attraction. This boosted their density and in turn their gravitational attraction, pulling even more matter to them. Meanwhile, the universe was expanding at an ever-increasing rate, and these quantum-level oscillations ultimately extended across a distance of hundreds of millions of light years. Spherical collections of matter started to cluster together, eventually becoming galaxies. By analyzing these enormous formations, astronomers may get insight into the early cosmos. The Dark Energy Study has mapped nearly one-fourth of the southern sky and investigated over three million galaxies, demonstrating how advancements in telescope and image technology have allowed for more precise copies of Kirshner's maps to be made in recent years. Scientists may learn about the history of the universe's appearance by comparing these maps with computer models. Fortunately, we live in an era when powerful computers can simulate the expansion of the universe to its present state. To date, one of the most significant gaps in space is the Bautis Void, which, as we mentioned, is 250 to 330 million light years wide. Some of the most exciting puzzles in cosmology have nothing to do with the out of the ordinary astronomical features like black holes or neutron stars. Some of the most intriguing mysteries may not have practical or theoretical consequences. According to some analysts, when something is missing, concerns emerge, and this leads us to voids which are vast holes in space that are not only devoid of visible objects, but are in fact utterly empty. While some may have a smattering of galaxies here and there, the great majority are devoid of any observable matter, including the mysterious dark matter that constitutes a massive portion of the cosmos. The Milky Way galaxy, part of the local group, is located on the edge of one of these gaps, referred to as the local void. The chilly area is only sometimes seen as a vacuum. One scientist, for instance, thinks it may be a relic from another reality, suggesting the existence of a multiverse. 
The primary proponent, Laura Mersini Hutton, proposes that this area emerged due to quantum entanglement between our reality and the parallel universe before they split apart. In the years following, surveys have improved upon previous attempts to map the cosmos. It has just been discovered the galaxies form a vast web. Most galaxies clustered along filaments, which are lengthy structures that thread their way across the universe. When they collide, a galaxy is formed. Clusters are locations where there is a large number of galaxies close to one another. However, there are vast galaxy-less regions between these filaments. Most of the gaps are between 30 and 300 million light-years in size, accounting for around 80% of the visible universe. One of the biggest, Bautes, is called a supervoid because of its size. Bautes may have been formed when smaller voids merge. These gaps are assumed to have their roots in the Big Bang. All this stuff in the universe was jammed together in its early stages. It's speculated that this soup was initially uniform, but that slight variations in the distribution of matter were quickly introduced due to random quantum fluctuations. Since certain regions became marginally denser, they began to attract material from less dense regions due to their stronger gravitational attraction. On the other hand, tiny clusters of matter started becoming galaxies. These quantum-level oscillations ultimately spread across hundreds of millions of light years as the universe rapidly expanded simultaneously. Space-time expanded nearly instantly after the Great Bang brought the universe into existence in the first moments of creation. The uneven distribution of matter during this brief period of inflation has been attributed to cosmic fluctuations. Consequently, there are denser regions of space such as galaxies, clusters, and galaxy superclusters, and less dense areas such as voids and supervoids. The cosmic microwave background radiation, known as CMB, often known as the afterglow of the Big Bang, provides us with the best explanation for the observed changes in matter density seen throughout the cosmos. Astronomers examining the image found evidence of a massive cold patch on the CMB, roughly 10 billion light years distant, in the direction of the constellation Iridanus. Astronomers attribute the chilly area in space to the absence of matter, which accounts for the small but noticeable temperature differences. Not just any black hole, but the biggest one, with a diameter of almost a billion light years. The existence of a mirror supervoid in the other hemisphere would be compelling proof that this idea is correct. In 2009, a mysterious gap that seemed to be a perfect match was found in the constellation Iridanus in the southern galactic hemisphere. The lack of agreement on the precise location of this mirror blank, however, means it may be of little relevance. Lawrence Rudnick also put out a notion, although his makes no sense. He proposes that the Iridanus black hole isn't a standard vacuum, but a universe in mass that ate everything in its path. In addition, he and his group think that dark energy the force responsible for the universe's accelerated expansion, is an optical illusion caused by the gravitational forces of a massive black hole at the very end of our visible cosmos. One may even argue that the cold spot isn't really a vacuum. In fact, fresh evidence reveals that it's improbable that the chilly area ever existed in the first place. Both proposals are interesting in their own ways. Astronomers may see the universe's early history by analyzing these massive formations, more recent surveys like the Dark Energy Survey, which has mapped nearly a fifth of the southern sky by analyzing some 300 million galaxies, can produce more detailed copies of Kirchner's maps than ever. However, today's supercomputers can model the evolution of the universe from the first moments after the Big Bang, the present day. Using these maps in conjunction with the simulations, astronomers can better understand how the universe developed into its current state. We hope to bring you more updates on this soon. Did you enjoy watching this video? If yes, we're sure you would like the next video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more space videos.